Good day. As he bunks off, bloke. Here you go. Uh, today I've decided I'm going to make a bit of a beginner video on just basic care for bonsai. Um, so any of you normal subscribers or watchers that have been doing it for a while, you can wait for the next video or you can watch it anyway and listen to me ramble on and not sure why you'd want to do that but anyway we got the beginner one so what basically what I'm going to do here is just show you how to keep a tree alive there's no styling no trimming no wiring no shaping um, and the main reason for this video is because you get so many people on Facebook and social media and whatever post videos up of a brown tree what happened to my tree is it okay will it live blah 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 and it's completely fine it's not their fault or your fault um, you just didn't know what to do and to be honest not many people do really basic basic videos on care everyone wants to style and carve and you know get get right into it but I just want to do a quick video on how to keep it alive okay so number one is sunlight okay some people think you can leave it in a shed or a window seal or, you know, I'm filming in the shed, but, uh, or in a window seal. And some people think that's enough or some people leave it in their kitchen. Oh yeah, but it gets about an hour through the side of the house in the morning, through the window before the sun gets up. It's not enough. These things need full sun or close to it for at least four hours a day. Most, almost all bonsai need full sun for at least four hours a day. Anywhere up to 10 or 12 hours for the day. So that's number one. They need sunlight. Okay, number two. Which is only second thing and it's the last thing. Water. Sunlight, water. That's it. Simple as that, very easy to look after. Okay, so watering. I'll sh just show you how to water. One, you can dip it in a bucket of water. I'll show you that one at the end, because that's outside. Um, number two. One of the big things people do, especially when they have them inside, which you shouldn't have, they should be outside, um, is they get, a, they get a squirty bottle for your hair, Oh yeah, that's beautiful. And then they just go like this on the tree. And if you've done this, don't feel ashamed because you didn't know any better. That's what this video is for, to show you. So you can imagine you spray yourself like that. Once it wet your face for about five seconds. Okay, so people go like this on the tree. I've been watering it every day. Okay, so I watered my tree every bloody day. And it went brown and died. That's it. Maybe just wet the moss just a little bit. Okay. Okay, so if any of you guys out there laughing at me right now because you've done this and you've learned, good. At least you learned something. If you guys have only just got a bonsai, please listen to this video. Because you'll be surprised. You might be laughing at me now, but so many people do this. Okay. It looks wet. Yes, it does look wet. So does my face. <laughs> so does my face look wet, but I tell you what, it didn't get into the pot. The pot's going to dry out. You might even keep your moss alive by just giving it a little mist on top of the moss. But inside the pot, that's all going to dry out. These things, if it's going to be over 25 degrees, need water at least once a day. Over 30, twice a day. This is Celsius, that is. If it's going to start getting over 40, you need to think about protecting it from anything from midday on from the sun and water it two to three times a day. Um, or if you have a real scorcher, you could even just hide the tree away for the whole day. Just hide it inside, but then put it, make sure you put it back out in the sun the next day when it's cooled off a bit. But that's only for extreme 45 degree. But anyway, that's getting too complicated. Don't worry about it. All you have to do is water it properly. 
a good couple of times a day in summer, once a day in winter, and that's it. And another misconception out there too is that a lot of people say that most trees die from overwater. Well, I'm here right now to tell you that's bullshit. Most trees die from not being watered enough. Pretty much, especially if you're in a warmer climate or a temperate climate in summer, it's pretty, pretty bloody hard to overwater a tree um, to the point that it dies. These things get watered three times a day, up to four times a day in summer at my place, and they just thrive. And the potting medium is actually basically just a potting mix. It's not anything special, it's not really coarse. It's actually quite fine with a fair few organics. And as you can see, this tree is doing beautiful. And the only trouble I have, still even watering that often, is some burn. So definitely a mis misnomer out there that they mainly die from overwater. The truth is, they die from not enough water, from people that don't know how to water properly. So don't, don't use this, just throw that away. Get a, get a good watering can, or dunk it in some water like I'm gonna show you. And you really wanna really wet the tree, okay? Get inside the pot, really fill it up. I'll bring you in a bit closer. Okay. So yeah, if you've done this, don't worry about it, it's fine, it'll ha you know, it happens to everyone while they're learning. And no one told you any difference, so just listen to this video and you should be able to at least keep your tree alive. So I'm not even going to get into fertiliser. So you really want to, really want to get the water in there. You can see all the water going everywhere. Really wet. Okay. So you can see all the water dripping off the table. Now, what you're looking for after you've watered is for it to actually be coming out of the drainage hole, which it well and truly is. It means you've watered enough, the whole thing's saturated. And that gets done like that twice a day in our summers. Even if it's a cooler day, I still do it twice a day in summer. And you can have a look how healthy and beautiful all this foliage is. Simple as that. Okay, so not even any, don't even worry about fertilizer for now, just worry about learning how to water it. And if you want to fertilize, just get something like a Thrive All Purpose Fertilizer, which is what I use, and just do that every couple of weeks in with your water at the recommended rate. Well that's it, okay, so that's the end, pretty much the end of the video, I'll show you outside, I'll dunk it at the end of the video, I'll just do a quick snippet of me dunking it in water, so yeah basically, I'm just trying to help you people out there that end up with your dead bonsai trees on Facebook asking what happened to my tree and then everyone on Facebook giving you a hard time and paying you out about not giving it enough water or sunlight. I know that's sort of what I've done on here but the truth is it's not your fault. Um, you didn't know any better and especially if you don't come from a horticultural background you certainly wouldn't realise how much water they do need. Um, because you know like a succulent or a cactus you probably could get away with just missing it with a bit of mist you know you could probably do that with a cactus or a succulent and probably be fine and just a couple of squirts in the pot inside would be fine but with a bonsai no so number one sunlight at least four hours a day this is simple steps number one sunlight four hours a day at least Number two, water every day in summer, on hotter days, twice a day in summer, and winter, once a day, and I mean a proper water like I just showed you. So if you do those steps, you should be fine. No worries, I'll show you me dunking it in the water in a second, but anyway, 
Cheers for watching as your buns are bloke. Please like, share, subscribe, tell your mates. I hope this video has helped you out. Hope it saves a few trees out there. Because um, I really don't want someone telling me misinformation, you end up losing a tree because they are worth a lot of money. Um, and if you put a bit of care into them, it's quite sad to watch them die. Or if you get a gift from someone for Christmas this Christmas, I'll get this up before Christmas. So if anyone gets a Christmas gift as a bonsai, uh, bonsai as a Christmas gift, you have a, an okay sort of video just showing you the two basic things. But once you get those two things, sunlight, water under control, then you can look at how to trim, shape and that. But first things horticulture. You really got to know how to look after your tree first um, before you can move on to all the other stuff. So that's your basic number one. I might do a second video of basics and it might be like styling, but not today. Today is just purely sunlight and water. That's it. So I'll show you how to dunk the tree in water on the way at the end of this video. And yeah, no worries. Tell your mates about those bonsai bloke. And I'll catch you next time. Cheers. Do you want me to press the Yes. Yeah. Okay, so this is the last final method. Just get a bucket of water. You just want to dunk the pot until the pot's on the water. Wait till all the air bubbles have come out. Or just leave it for a minute. One minute will be fine. And then after a minute, you can pull it out. Okay, so there's still a few bubbles coming out I can feel. Then you pull it out. You can see it. You can see it drains. There's the drainage holes. And it's well wet. No worries. Cheers for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.